Hey chess lovers, welcome back to the chess yard. This is Dhere Pagga and today I'll be playing the final blitz on Lee Chess and during the game I'll try to be as instructive as possible like always, making sure that there's something to be taken away as a learning that helps you improve your game to the next level. Now before I start with the game, I request you to subscribe to my channel and press on the bell icon so that you don't miss out on any of the videos that I'm posting up daily without a miss. So yeah, let's start with the game and see how it goes. Which pieces we get here? F white, I'll play London system. Since I've got black, I'll play the Karukan defense. It starts with C6 followed by D5. Okay, I'll play C6. I forgot to unmute it. Okay, I'll go with D5 now. Open does take. So it becomes the exchange variation of the Karukan. I can take here, but then it develops the bishop with tempo. But rather, I can go with my bishop first, eyeing the knight. And if he now develops the knight, we can play pawn forward as well. Advances, that's interesting. Because as far as I know, that is going to be weakening up of this pawn. Develops the knight, which is okay. I think I can play pawn forward straight away or I should just block it first, the time being. And then maybe go ahead with the knight. Open develops the other knight as well yeah, even I can develop the knight thinking of going over there yeah, later on I don't want to exchange bishops so I'll bring it back now if he does that helps me up opening up the edge fine as well for the attack uh, also I can go here the idea is to then take on the pawn next so he safeguards that um, okay I'll just develop the bishop uh, knight can come here as well. Then I will have to take the bishop first. I'll castle. Finishing off the development. Knight is not really a good option. My opponent will take back. I take. Goes back and the pawn will be weakened up. So rather I should maybe think of playing pawn forward as well. Trying to get rid of this advanced pawn which is uh, which can well be a passer as well at some point of time. So I'll take that gives me tempo attacking the pawn as well now Which my opponent happens to save now um, I can't take what if I take this first No, still I can't take this one um, I have to be careful here I'll just get my rook active maybe on the center uh, Knight here knight goes back, okay so asking me to take which i don't want i'll attack the rook some small mistakes can happen with the operant and see there is one uh, and it doesn't bother me because if he, if he takes i can take back with the bishop so he doesn't now i think i should take on the knight or let him take uh, let's take his bishop will be more inactive here Okay, I have this move which advances the pawn or I can just play my bishop here so that I can get my knight rerouted over to the nice side where then I can probably go for bishop exchange as well. Oh, I have this now being attacked more than twice. So I think I can take with the bishop. I have an extra pawn as well. If he takes, I take back with the knight. So he doesn't get to take my knight because my queen supports it and i can come back can go here as well can come here as well so knight is pretty much active there okay pushes the pawn forward uh, going back makes more sense then i can reroute it this would be good attacking the bishop eventually okay attacks my queen so he'll plant his knight here and then can land here or here. So I need to make sure that doesn't bother me anytime. I can go here as well. He goes here. Yep. And I go here maybe. As planned, attacking the bishop. Can get the rook on an empty file. Can play pawn forward, hoping for a pawn break and exchange the queens of the board as well. Why not when you are ahead in the game? 
Uh, if he saves the bishop here, I might go here as well, attacking the pawn eventually. He doesn't save the bishop. That's interesting as well. Uh, maybe his idea is to just get his rook active. I'm wondering how much does it actually help him. Maybe I have a pawn forward as well now. Yeah, he can't take because he loses the queen. Can't take on the bishop anytime. It's still hanging. Okay, side steps from the arms way. Um, here I can take on the pawn first. He does take back, I think. Yep. Um, can I do a rook lift? Uh, go here, double up, and then take on the queen as well. That can be nice. I think I should just take on this first. Eliminating the threats, which can be harmful later on. So I'll take. Takes back with the rook. Queen can come here and then I won't be able to take but play pawn forward. That is okay. Um, maybe I can go here. Or I should just, um, no, not that way. Can I play pawn forward? Not bad actually. When you have lots of pawns, you can play with them. Trying to just move the rook backwards so I can take a pawn maybe. Let's see where he goes. This gives me a chance to rook lift here as well, just in case something falls backwards. Uh, should be easy from here, I think. I'll line up and attack the pawn. This is a weakness now. Uh, not anymore though, but yeah, I can still go ahead. He cannot take the pawn. Rook defends it. But I can definitely move my rook next. Yeah, still he can't take because he loses the queen otherwise. Okay, that is a check, but that doesn't help much. Um, maybe I should just sidestep my king first. Maybe go up as well. Not bad. Defends the pawn further. Even my rook. It's guarded as well. Okay, doubles up. I'll go here. Trying to have a solid pawn structure. Oh, he tries to take that down. Maybe I can give a check. Because once he moves anywhere, I'm going down. And that can be a quick checkmate as well. So I'll go here. That is checkmate in one if he's not careful. And that's how quickly you can change stuff. He didn't see that coming, didn't he? So, yep, that was comfortable, I would say. Uh, let's analyze from computer perspective. I think we're pretty much good uh, most of the time. But yeah, let's cross verify that and improve from whatever we can in the game next time onwards. So e4 responded with c6 and then d4. I played d5, the Karukan defense. Becomes the exchange variation after we exchange the pawns. Of course, the opponent can advance the pawn, which becomes the advanced variation, which is actually considered to be the most challenging line in the Karukan. Or the opponent can develop the knight, which becomes the main line of the Karukan. In that case, you have to take back the pawn and let him take back with the knight. Then you develop the bishop. Knight goes back to g3. Your bishop will come back to g6. That's how uh, the main line works. But here, my opponent did one exchanges. So we did exchange the pawns over there. Then opponent played c4. Very aggressive from him, trying to go for the center. I developed the bishop rather on f5. And the problem with bishop, uh, whenever you develop early is the queen can always come on b3. Now, if the queen comes on b3, that can be problematic because um, I'm losing out on this pawn as well eventually because after I take, my opponent can either take back with the bishop or can take on this as well. But if in case he takes the pawn on b7, we can go ahead with the knight. Now we have a rook coming up uh, pretty early in the game. Here again, opponent can take, but 
should not be bothering us because after we play a move like rook here um there's less chances my opponent will see and can do a mistake as well for example here if opponent plays bishop here now that's completely losing of the game because i take he goes up and then of course i can come back and defend the situation if required i can give a check but that loses my rook so i better be careful um can i win it this way i'm not sure a check can be nasty right because if he does take that's mate and one that can be interesting so yeah uh, queen can come there but doesn't in this game so i play e6 open plays knight o c3 and then i played a6 uh just trying to make sure the bishop is isn't annoying and pinning my knight eventually uh and here i he uh, plays um uh, bishop to sorry he played h3 right yeah and then i played knight to c6 opponent plays knight f3 i also developed the other knight on f6 and then he asked me for bishop exchange which i denied uh, and generally i do so that if you really want to take yeah please do go ahead i open up the h file for the attack and i'll t try to make sure that i can use a, make a better use of it uh it's not very easy to make uh, use of the open file always so you have to be take a cautious call i feel confident that way so i do it otherwise the best move is to exchange the bishops on your own terms but here uh after my opponent castle i just pin the knight the idea was simple if he just tries to miss or play some passive move say plays rook um centralizing the rook here uh i can just simply take on the knight or i can even first take on the pawn both can be okay uh yes the queen can come down and give a check in that case we can come back as well so there's not much threats happening but yeah then uh, the opponent can build up on it because you didn't take the knight first opponent can force you to take the knight next in that case you can even get your uh knight to be safeguarded with the rook not even just by playing queen here uh, queen uh, on a5 would mean you're trying to exchange queens of the board but i would prefer getting my rook here uh, which actually saves uh, my knight for the time being and after yes opponent can advance the pawn and you can even come back uh, you can try to make you can even play pawn forward having an percent is fine because then you get your queen active pretty quickly and then you're certainly eyeing this wonderful attack on f2 as well so things can change uh, and you have to be uh, proactive on what you're thinking uh, be flexible and i develop the bishop here uh, opponent plays a3 a very passive move but yeah not making making sure that my knight is not coming on b4 here i castle open and develops the bishop and i just tried to break open the pawn chain from there uh, took with the queen he tries to get rook lined up i play uh, rook to e8 there and then once he goes back again he's offering me bishop which i can take which is beneficial for me but i deny now the denial is nice because i will be attacking his rook which he misses out completely uh, here computer suggesting you can take on the knight first that's also fine but i took on the rook first after he does take back i take on the knight too which he takes back with the bishop and as i said in the game his bishop is more useless if it's standing on g4 uh, because here his bishop is actually eyeing the right diagonal i would say can be used from here as well trying to double up uh, but after he places his bishop on g4 that's bad for him further now the bishop is not eyeing anything uh, but just a pawn and there's no king over there so you are not attacking and making use of the bishop rightly i develop the bishop on f6 uh, the right move as well now that triples up the attack on the center pawn which is only defended once for now so my opponent tries to defend with the rook which doesn't help him because of course i take he takes back uh, and now i am four point four 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 points ahead which is pretty much decent enough uh, to have an advantage um here i was thinking to play pawn forward or not then i tried to just um get my knight back so that i can read out it then yes queen b5 the right move and then going ahead and attacking the bishop uh, with my knight which he doesn't save surprisingly now, i can take that uh, bishop uh, but that would mean his rook gets more active more central more attacking the king over there and then a move like uh, queen eventually coming over to 
uh, h6 is possible because then i cannot take with the pawn and things can get complicated which you don't want when you're ahead in the game so i played a5 rather trying to make sure i can have a pawn and open up the h a, a file for my rook to be active and my opponent just ignores that fact and i take on the pawn takes back then i can come down and attack the rook as well but i thought of just simplifying the stuff by taking on the bishop which he does take back again uh i can sense that this move is coming uh if this happens eventually you can still come out of it so i didn't bother but i just tried to attack the rook straight away with the f pawn which is never a bad option f5 uh open moves the rook and then i just go down on a2 with the other rook just trying to double up there and then i just move the king as well on f7 now king on f7 you won't see that generally but look at the pawn structure here in the center pretty good rook is defending queen is defending the rook king is also guarding the pawn and the rook pawn and the rook uh also the other pawn you can play g6 as well which i think eventually i did yes i did and then my opponent starts to break things open up from the king side finally uh, last hope i think just trying to take on pawns and maybe see if he can build out something from there because if my opponent does take here eventually say i may, i waste a move I, how do i waste a move from here is one another question okay suppose i come back i will say then my opponent can think of taking the pawn and after i take back Yes, so you can give a check and I move, uh, but see, nothing is happening from here as well. 3.6 ahead, even if I waste a move, that's 3.6. But instead I give a check and he goes, actually he doesn't, he can go anywhere, I, I just give a check next. I was wondering how he, oh, that way he can at least save himself from a checkmate quick and goes here. And then I can play pawn forward, threatening to play again pawn forward. So he has to move the rook. Uh, I can still do that, uh, but won't win me anything. So better would be queen on c c1 there again, threatening to give a check from here. Maybe then after the opponent is pushed backwards, you can get your rook as well here. So lots of things can happen, but eventually it will be a checkmate. But my opponent really helped me here, saving my time uh, after I. Uh, give him a check with the rook he just moved his king over to h2 i come there and again he blunders i would say takes on the pawn and that's mate in one so he could have just saved it by one way by moving his king upwards and then escaping finally but that doesn't happen and i just made him up perfectly so i hope you like the video do let me know your feedback Keep watching and sharing. Do subscribe to the channel if you haven't already by now. Give a thumbs up to the video that gives me motivation to put these on a regular basis. And yeah, keep coming back tomorrow as well. Thank you so much for your time. Take care. Bye-bye.